Hey guys, welcome to mine here. Welcome to my video review of Transformers Avenger of Fallen, Sky Stalker, and Mind Wipe. I thought I'd review these two together because we're kind of a set. So, as a star off, I'll give you a look at Sky Stalker. So, here he's in his drone mode. It's really nice black. He's got. Oh, get the right way up for you. There you go. He's got Decepticon logos here. 808, whatever that means. Uh, nice details. Uh, he's got landing gear. The back, which is retractable, if it just there you go, click into place, and it still sits quite flat. Features in this mode, he can combine a mind wipe. So let's bring mind wipe back on. He's got two ports on the top, and these ports on the bottom of him. So you just push you onto it. Oops. There you go, and here you have them combined, which looks kind of cool. So you can fly around and it's like, okay, target required, launch Skystalker. So there you go. So that's all the features in this mode. So transformation for him. He's got, a, he's actually, you can get a girl up mode. So staff, let's, you do not have the legs and fold them down. Click them into place. His feet are spring loaded, which is kind of cool. Bring them down. Bring up the feet. Here you go, girl up mode. Kind of like a chicken. All right, to continue the transformation, you take the wings, unpeg them, come to the back, you split the back here, move the leg out of the way. Uh, right, you fold on the cockpit first, bring these arms up to the click, swivel them down, rotate, stay on the other side, untab, bring up, click into place. Rotate, pull up the head, tidy up the wings, and here you have Sky Stalker in his robot mode. So I'm standing and his arm just popped off. Great. And I'm going to put his arm two foot. Oh, great. There you go. There you go. Back on. So here we have Sky Stalker in his robot mode. Strain him up. Yeah, it's really menacing. He's got a nice little, like, nice little cape here with his wings. Nice details in this mode. He's got a nice one monocle. Go around with his shockwave. Articulation. He's got, like you saw, he's got ball joints in the shoulder, ball joint in the wrist. Swivel, no hand articulation. Double joint in the knee, uh, which I end up popping up for another ball joints. So he does not have a double joint in because that's going to cause a ball joint to pop off. Uh, what, okay, accessories in this mode. He's got... You take these parts of his wings off. You get these little sickles, or pickaxes, whatever they're meant to be. You know, you can hold these in a number of ways. You can hold them in his, for ports in his hands. Which I'll try and show you here, if I can find the port. There you go. You can have it holding it like that. But I personally prefer this. He's got the... 3mm clip under his arm and you just click them on here you just uh, that can be a tricky and now he's got a little pickaxe and under his arm and he's got two so he can dual wield there you go get it off and click it on and you can get him to some really good poses you hit this one of my favourite poses for Sky Stalk is just like yeah come at me Okay, so that's Skystalker for you. Let's bring him to the back. Now let's focus on Mind Wipe. So here, have Mind Wipe in his Elf Bomber mode. He's got Cybertronian tats on here. He's got translucent red windscreen. Nice purple vents. Uh, but that's really about it for detail. His tail fins adjustable, but in a stealth chair, wouldn't he? Need it. He's got landing gear as well, so you just retract, just retract. He's got visible head syndrome, but that doesn't really matter. So, so he's average Voyager size, so I don't have any comparisons. Yeah, but the landing gear doesn't sit flat. So let's get down to his transformation. You start with unpegging the legs from here. Wiggle them out, bring them all the way down. Okay, now you untab the... Roof, entire Kamaki section, and bring it up. 
So just a camera for you. You collapse the tail fin in first. You take the arms, separate them, bring them up. On hinge, bring them down. Bring them down. Come in here. Take the panel. This is a bit tight. Go. Bring this down around and click it into place. Bring that flat. Bring up the head. We'll take the waist. So that's not the waist, that's the legs. Bring that up the feet. Swing his arms down. Bring them around. Take the, the this bit out, bring it up. Fold out his hands. Could be a bit tight sometimes. There you go. Click it into place. Same on the other side. Bring it around. Rotate. Unhinge. This side's a bit stiffer. Okay, there you go. Into place. Bit of, bit of arm off here. As you fold in the wings, these little knives pop out. Hope you saw that. And here you have mine wiping his robot mode. So there he is, he looks really menacing. Looks like, looks like a vampire. Okay, he's got really he's got he has translucent head, but he can't really get light piping to work. I mean I'm trying to hold him into the light, but it's not working. Articulate in this mode, uh, ball jointed head, so he's got a good amount of movement with it. Double universal joints at the shoulders, could do a full 360. Oh, hang on, oops, forgot to rotate the waist. So. There you go, yes, yeah, so as you saw there, waist swivel. No, it's not even standing up straight. Okay, uh, legs are on a uh, ratchet. Soft ratchet. You can bring his feet forward a bit, but I really don't like the chicken leg look. So I keep him like this. Featured in this mode, he's got a little switch here, which deploys his little axe, or dagger, whatever they're meant to be. It were basically his melee weapons. So you can get him into... I got, I got some good poses, you can get him into... I like to bring his... When I'm playing with him, I bring his feet down like this, so it looks like he's like flying. But sadly, he can't stand up on that, because, look, there's... No feet. Ooh. Yep, so there you go. There's Mind Wipe. His row mode is bringing Skystalker for a closer look. Now, don't, don't these two look like a menacing duo? You don't want to mess with them. So, yeah, that concludes my video review of Mind Wipe and Skystalker. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next review.